Hello and welcome. We are with Jasneet Bachar, Senior VP Group Marketing at Kotak Mahindra Bank. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how important is social media in the marketing mix of, uh, uh, of Kotak Mahindra Bank? So well, uh, social media is really something that's penetrated all our lives. And uh, from a consumer perspective, there is no way that you cannot as a brand uh, not be present on the platform. So it definitely plays a critical role in our uh, scheme of things. Okay, what are the challenges uh, you know, that, uh, that a corporate like yours uh, would uh, face using social media? Okay, so uh, social ideally in today's world is used, you know, used for multiple things, particularly for uh, customer facing brands like ours. So customer service is definitely one uh, aspect where it is used and where we try to get as close to uh, uh, you know addressing queries as fast as we can uh, from the marketing front uh, i think the challenges are plenty uh, first thing is that when you're on a, on a platform you want to definitely not be intrusive as a brand you know you need to talk the language that will resonate with the consumers that are on that platform and uh, as a lot of learning tells us that uh, you know the traction for uh, recommendations from peers etc is far um, you know, appreciated versus brand speak, particularly on uh, social channels. And uh, even when the brand, you know, sort of uh, reaches out on social platforms to um, the consumers or your, to your target audience, I think that the big challenge lies in how you devise the communication in reaching out to them. Uh, vanilla advertising is definitely not the way to do that, you know. So listening plays a very critical role in uh, understanding. So listening is a key part of our approach. So you want to get insights on what the consumers ask is. You want insights on uh, what the brand talk is. You want you know larger category insights. And uh, these help you in creating uh, communication pegs too. Uh, so how different would say the content that you are uh, uh, using uh, be in social media versus you know other forms of media that you're using okay so it's actually a bit of both for social so uh, we do develop content and use a lot of existing content uh, you know uh, with from within the firm and sort of you know customize it for social and edit it in the right formats for social consu consumption on social platforms however we also have tried and tested and played our regular advertising on social channels too uh, because it definitely has some merits of you know getting consumer feedback you don't really need to uh, wait for you know just anecdotal feedback or research feedback to come in so it's almost getting consumer feedback on your communication real time so we've done that too uh, how active are you on social media as a person uh, you mean me personally yes um, fairly active yeah okay so what's yeah. the most exciting thing uh, uh, you know uh, about social media for you personally I think the real exciting thing is about how we can connect with the people we've known all our lives and are but living in different parts of the world and uh, you know still I mean they, uh, you don't really feel that you're miles apart because you're pretty much sharing everything across and uh, the ability to share to connect and uh, to put your thoughts out yeah. okay what are you hoping to take away from um, uh, social media week so I think uh, there's a lot of learning in terms of uh, even you know sharing, peer-to-peer -peer sharing, hearing others' uh, experience uh, on the platform, and uh, I guess that's it. Okay. What yeah. are the uh, uh, what are the three things that you might like or or dislike about social media? About social media as a person? Uh, no, as uh, going, as a marketer. Going back to marketing. Okay. Um, so like about social media, definitely, I mean, if you are on the social platforms, you really, I mean, the attempt is to have the pulse of uh, today. So, you know, that is where a larger part of the audience are spending their time. So it gives you the ability to actually listen into what is the consumer view. So listening is a de definitely a good part of it. Um, the ability to reach out also you know in a different fashion it it is evolving from very regular uh, from uh, traditional communication uh, it gives you an opportunity to do some interesting interactive uh, work uh, dislike i would rather say challenge rather than say dislike is that uh, um, you know uh, 
you have to constantly be real time you have to constantly be alive you know and the big shift it's getting into our lives and marketers is that gradually from moving uh, away from planning only campaigns it's almost like a brand is all a brand is always on so you're always on the job you know and campaigns are always on there is no time to say that okay it is a campaign and it is over so those those uh, demarcations i think are, are very blurred and how do you see that uh, changing going forward um see going forward uh, i think with the, the the fact that we spoke about i think on the panel today is also that with the convergence of technology with the convergence of social and uh, mobility and analytics and all of that there is obviously a huge opportunity that it offers marketers so uh, moving on from traditional communication you know which is largely to consumer segments you can move on to you know personalized uh, personal communication really so that's going to be like a real big big move as and when it happens i mean the stargazing we don't know when it will happen but that totally changes the dynamics of uh, marketing so you're preparing uh, for that change whenever it will happen yeah i guess attitude nearly everybody is <laughs> <laughs>